so at the moment everything has to be closed off because I don't I don't have cages for them they have their little what I call apartments um, but they're looking for any little spot any little corner uh, where she can lay an egg and I don't think she will because really at this point in the almost five years that I've had her she's laid a total of about three eggs which for a pigeon that's not uh, normal uh, for a laying age pigeon which is why I don't think that she's uh, a laying pigeon um, more than likely this is what I think is it more than likely she had already stopped laying eggs and, and uh, somebody released her from her loft uh, because she was no longer useful for breeding so it's a little frustrating uh, how people who raise animals to breed uh, see the animals for the most part only as capital uh, I don't think that any animal is just capital even if you're laying eggs or even if you're laying pigeons or birds for for the money that you can make from them you still have to have respect for the animal itself the same thing with cattle uh, cows goats whatever else even if you're raising the farm animals for the money that you can make from them they should have a good life while they are alive they should have respect while they are alive because the capital that you gain from them is not their only value and especially because in terms of capital in terms of cattle the capital that you uh, gain from them comes from usually their death well in the end anyway uh, in other words their death is is the cost that they pay an early death an untimely death so the time that they're alive should be uh, a good life and a life where they receive respect there are fa some farms that do that uh, it's very rare but this is the way that that uh, all animal husbandry uh, should be done <laughs> it's lovely to see this And they don't always get along. They're just like people. Sometimes they get into spats. Sometimes they won't talk to each other. Or, well, you know, they do. They do talk. Obviously, a lot of the communication they have, we don't hear it because it's beyond our hearing range. But they'll stay away from each other maybe for a day or two because they get into a fight about something which we really don't know about but these are things that I observe and then of course once again they're uh, agreeable with each other and <laughs> and they want to hang out a lot especially when I um, I've done this before just to uh, help them out psychologically because she doesn't lay eggs I'll slip a couple eggs, a wooden eggs, into her nest. And then for the next three weeks or so, uh, they're on their system uh, where she'll watch the eggs for a certain amount of hours. And when she has to get off the nest, he'll come and watch the eggs for a few hours. And during those times, it, it's... um 
it's a different kind of a um, different kind of a socialization, a different kind of a relation relationship at time. At, that, at those times, it becomes sort of a this is like this is business, you know, for them. <laughs> the business of of raising eggs, not in terms of making money business, but it's it's a business for them. If you watch pigeons in the wild, and there are a lot of them around here. Well, okay, you can call them feral pigeons, whatever, but they're still wild. If you watch pigeons in the wild, they have a whole system of of uh, raising their eggs in the wild. That's really the primary activity. They look for food and they raise raise their young. And if there's not enough food, they won't breed. You'll see them together a lot, uh, hunting after food together, you know, looking for food together. Uh, but if there's a lot of food, especially in the summer when a lot of tourists come to Santa Monica, then there will also be more eggs. It's also warm, easier to raise the young. In the winter, you tend to see more uh, young that either fall out of nests by accident or more than likely this is because one or another of the adults has been killed either from a predator. We have uh, red shoulder hawks, red tail hawks, falcons, and of course crows. Crows do go after them in mobs. Um, so in those cases a lot more of the squabs tend to either jump out of the nest to try to find some sort of food or water or just fall out of the nest. Um, at least these are the things that I, I tend to notice because I walk around that area, the, the Santa Monica Pier, where a lot of the pigeons um, live. Anyway, that's Chansey on the right there, and the nameless male, who may or may not one day have a name, <laughs> on the left with his head hidden. <laughs>